everybody. Welcome to this crazy day vlog. <laughs> so I will have timestamps down below. I will show you guys everything we do today. You can skip around. I'm Jess, me and my three kids and my husband. Uh, we vlog every single day on our channel and I show you like real life mom life. So if you are new, we'd love to have you subscribe. A few updates. I know I look a hot mess express. It's been a crazy, what, 18 hours. I'm going to shut this off. Um, okay. So I am good news first. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I was really sick yesterday. I feel like I had COVID and I was getting really nervous. I feel totally fine. Coffee tasted fine today. I feel fine. So that is great. Um, also last night we thought we were just having a meeting with our realtor and last night she was like, can you have the house ready to take pictures? And we were like, Oh, but we wanted to get it done. So we kind of busted our butt to get our house ready to take pictures. I will show you the garage in a minute. We pretty much threw everything in the garage, like crazy people just to get the house ready for pictures. So I thought it'd be fun to take you guys around today and show you what we have an hour before she's going to be here. Everything's pretty much done. I am going to take the kids and ride around and Layla and ride around while she's here so she can take pictures without them running around. And, um, we've done it. <laughs> we've done it, except there's so much crap in our garage and a lot of it we can pack straight up or donate or do stuff with. Some of it though is like things we're going to need this week, like jackets and towels and cleaning stuff and shampoo. And it's just all thrown in there. Oh, but the house looks great. I thought it'd be fun to take you guys room to room. And it would also show me if there's anything I haven't done yet because y'all are like, you know, a camera, a viewfinder. I look crazy because I've been running around this house for the last, like I said, however long since last night around seven o'clock. We did sleep. But other than that, it's been crazy. So the kids are like busting at the seams. I'm trying to keep them from destroying anything. A minute ago, I had the kitchen perfect. Okay. And I came in to Nate with a carton of eggs out and one of them in a measuring cup. And he was about to turn it and let it fall on the floor. And I caught him. Thank God I got him because that would have been so fun to clean up. Um, I think I'm going to move Layla's dog food. I did kind of straighten over here and like, cause she likes to spill dog food out. So once we take her out and put her in the car, I'm going to move those. Um, because I want the pictures to look as professional as possible and no junk in them. I just think they look better. I've seen house pictures recently that are just so junky. And I'm like, why did they not clean up a little bit? It's a lot of work to do that and maybe not everybody can do that or have a garage to throw stuff but i just think pictures turn out so much better when you declutter and just get rid of all the extra stuff so let's look around the house real quick and then i'm gonna have Dave. david's blowing off the deck because there's leaves everywhere and we want her to get a good picture of our deck it's beautiful so um as soon as he gets done i'm gonna have him put the kids in a car start the movie and just sit with them and then I will finish the last minute things before we leave. So we did it. I didn't think it was possible last night, but we did it. So let me turn the camera on. I'm going to go room to room and we're going to just show you real fast. All right, you guys, this is my office slash our extra pantry. Everything looks great in here. If I have time, I want to wipe down that printer. I don't think you'll be able to really tell, but there's some dust on it and maybe move Layla's thing stuff, but it looks great in here. Moving into our laundry room, it's just everything that's not, like everything's put up. Um, our laundry washer and dryer is very old, so it's kind of marked up and stuff, but that just is what it is. And then moving into our kitchen, let's see if you can tell. I'm still going to mop the living room because there's some footprints. You probably won't be able to tell, but you guys, we moved everything. The paper towel roll is going to move. Um, everything else is put away. This bar is great. My purse is out. And the dining room. Kids are screaming. Kids are screaming. Looks so good in here. So good. Let's come into the living room where it's kind of chaotic. We're, we got some stuff out, but we're going to pick that up. You guys be careful. Don't draw a hot hang on them. Lucy's room. Lucy's room. We cleaned all of her stuff off. Literally, y'all don't even know what it looks like before now keep, keep coming all right let's shut this all right so it looks great it looks great bathroom 
But it keeps coming behind me and turning the fan on. Now they're playing. Do y'all know how hard it is to do this with kids? Three kids running around. David and I's room. Do you see all the clean surfaces? I just love how the house looks. I kind of want to just get rid of everything in the garage so it can always look like this. Honestly, it looks so good. And then moving into our bathroom. Everything's cleared off. Everything is clean. I need to move my cup here. And we have this weird shower thing we never use, but maybe the right person will want it. Looks great in here. And then let me show you Mark and right. room. But boom, boom, boom. Look how clean it is. We moved all of his toys. He still has some in these containers and he still has some over here. But there was so many toys all along here, all over here. We put them all in the garage, which I am going to show you the garage. So hold on, prepare yourselves. And then Nate's room. Looks great. If you want bug beds to look good, put Betty's bedding on them. They're expensive. But they make bunk beds look so good. Boom. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the garage in a minute. But you might want to like hold Pre on to prepare, your head. Prepare yourself. <laughs> and pray for us. <laughs> like, yes, <please> <laughs> um, are you holding in the real egg? No. Okay. <laughs> I told them about the egg that Nate oh. was. <laughs> okay. Then here's Layla. She's going to go with us on an adventure today too. Get her out of this you house. Guys, hold on to your hats. Dun, 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 Look how terrible this is. Do y'all not feel sorry for us having to deal with all this? This is like just mountains of crap that we had to move out of our house to get it to look as nice as it looks right now. There's toys. There's some of this stuff way back in there is trash slash donate that we haven't taken to the dump yet. But most of the stuff in here is stuff from our house, like excess stuff. This is why I just want to like get rid of all of it. But of course, I mean, it's toys the kids play with. So we can't, but I do want to at least downsize a lot of it because it is obviously way too much. Like this is just ridiculous. So um, I'm going to get the last few things done and we are going to get out of this house so she can come take pictures in peace. I'm going to take the kids around and we'll probably get some lunch and just drive around and let them watch a movie. So I will chat with you guys when we get in the car. Hey guys. So we are just waiting. Realtor has been at the house for about 15 minutes. So David said he would text us. I've got the dog here. <laughs> she is scared to death. She thinks, I guess she always thinks we're going to leave her at like the borders or something. But um, we're just going to sit here, Layla. We drove around. We drove across the Ohio River. We live really close to it. And we ended up in Kentucky for a few minutes. And then we came back, drove around a little bit. And now we're just sitting out front of McDonald's. Nobody says they're hungry. Everybody says, I'm not hungry. So we're just going to sit here until we get the coast is clear. And Nate, we're talking about rainbow rooms. Nate says he wants a rainbow house. So let's see. Okay. Red is living room. Red is a living room. What is orange, Nate? Kitchen. He told us all this. Yellow uh, is the bathroom. Green is Nate. <laughs> Green is Nate's bedroom. Blue is mommy and daddy's bedroom. Indigo is my bedroom. Mark? Violet Mark's bedroom. Science. The science. Is the garage. The garage. Pink is the. Uh, laundry, room. laundry room yes and a white is the office at least the office is white so <laughs> he is killing us i don't know where he came up with that but he started naming all those off so we thought that was so funny layla is finding all kinds of crumbs in here and she's eating them Wait, what color is layla's room what Lay does layla have a room what if layla had her own room that would be so <laughs> she would not like that she wants to be with us it would it would be like a little closet probably Wait. Why? You want money. Money, 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 money. I think Mark is getting hungry. No, don't take that. That's my change. All right, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, it's kind of chaotic right now, honestly. It's been a chaotic last 24 hours. But Oh, Layla. Layla, she's trying to go underneath the seat and stuff. All right, we'll catch y'all back in a little bit. All right, you guys, so... We're done. Uh, the realtor was there for about an hour and um, 
it went really well. So she said, y'all have kept the house in immaculate condition. I was like, really? Okay. Um, I mean, we do take care of our house, but that was good to hear, especially how hard we worked. She was like, it looks amazing. So she's really hopeful that we can get more than we paid for it a couple years ago. So I'm like crossing my fingers that we can make a profit because that will help so much with getting a down payment on the next house and all of that. Um, you know, last night we were putting everything in the garage and it was kind of stressful and chaotic and sad a little bit, just thinking about leaving our house. But I was praying and I was like, God, I believe you gave us this house. We prayed for this house for years. You know, you guys know we lived in an apartment and we lived with my mom and dad for a while and we prayed and prayed for this house and everything that led up to us getting this house was nothing short of a miracle. I mean, they told us there was nothing available in the area and then this house just popped up. It was the exact area we needed by an amazing school for the kids. Like it had all the bedrooms we needed. It was amazing. And so I was like, you know, you gave us this house and I believe you gave it to us for a reason. If it wasn't to live in it for a long time, we have enjoyed it the last couple of years. And I pray that it is still a blessing to us as we sell it, you know, and the new family is going to enjoy it too. So when we first bought the house, Lucy's room, if you guys remember, um, there was like these weird cutouts. And so it was like a door, like there was no door. When you first walked into the, our house, this room was on the right hand side and there was like a door and a couple window cutouts. It was really odd. So we had that completely sealed off and we cut a door on the other side where it opened up to more of the living room instead of right there at the front door. And she said, because we did that, she, I, I was told that they can't list it as a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet, but she said we can list it as a bedroom. So our house is going to be listed as a four bedroom house, which is just so exciting because when we bought it, it was only three bedrooms. They couldn't list it as a bedroom because it didn't have a door. It was just like a bonus room or something. So she said, absolutely. You can list it because just like y'all have done, they can put in a wardrobe and it's a bedroom. So I was so excited to hear that. Um, there's a few things we, you know, have to do to work. She's hoping, she's hoping, y'all, that we can list this house um, in the next couple weeks. And we were like, but what if, like, we, what if, like, it, does that mean we have to be out if it sells really quickly? And she's like, no, you can negotiate if you guys need to be in in a month or two. Um, you can negotiate all of that with the, with the um, buyers. Um, there is a distinct possibility that we may know where we're going. I'm not going to say it yet because I, um, we're still processing everything. We're still letting it sink in. Um, but David's been talking to a church and we really have a strong connection with them. And we are going to be going to visit this weekend, our whole family. So, um, you know, that's so exciting and kind of crazy and fast and everything else. So uh, you guys stay tuned. We will be bringing you with us. You'll see where we're going, I'm sure. Um, but we're really, really excited about the future. It's just like all of the steps in between to get there. It's just been kind of chaos. So before we have... Um, she thinks it's going to sell really fast. Before we have people in our house like showing it... Um, you know, we need to have the garage system. It doesn't, she's like, people don't understand you're, you're living here and you're moving and you're packing. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to look better than I showed y'all today. It's got to look better than that. So, um, this next week, we're not leaving to go on that trip until the weekend. So our goal this week is to get that garage packed up. I think it's actually a really good thing that we have all of this extra stuff in one area, like the garage, because we can just, I told David, it's going to be so nice. We can have a trash pile, a donate pile, and then a packing pile. And as we go through stuff, we just tra trash, donate, pack this up. And we have boxes in there. So we can just, I think it's going to be a pretty fast little system. And then we just need to make sure our clo our closets are pretty good in terms of people opening them and checking out closet space. Uh, you know, I cleaned out mine in David's closet. It looks great. And so I just need to kind of straighten the kids. But really, Lucy doesn't have a closet. She has a wardrobe. So surely they won't open that. That's not part of the house. And it's not that bad anyway. Um, so I just need to kind of straighten up Mark's and Nate's. But theirs isn't that bad either. So really the garage is what we have to work about, worry about. Um, but you guys just be praying with us that everything goes well with selling this. And that we can actually make a profit. That would be so helpful going forward. We're really excited. God has 
we just prayed like for it to be obvious. Lucy asked me today, she said, what happens if we move somewhere that God doesn't want us to move? And I'm like, that's not going to happen because mommy and daddy are praying so hard that it will be obvious to us. The right place will be obvious to us and it will be the perfect place for all of us. And so um, she's like, okay. And I really do have a piece that God is going to point us in the right direction. And we feel really good about this possibility that's coming open. I mean, it just feels like the perfect scenario. Wait till you guys hear all about it. Wait till you hear. I mean, it's just totally a God thing. And what's crazy is as horrible the situation is that we walked through losing our job in such a shocking and fast way through nothing like that we did wrong. It just was a difference in song choice and like it wasn't anything big, but God used that. Like we would have never left our church right now. We would have never done that. And then this opportunity we wouldn't have even known about. So God does truly work everything out for our good. We feel very excited about moving forward with everything, but I kind of get overwhelmed thinking about all the different steps like, okay, selling the house. Okay, moving, the kids, the doctors that we have to find, the dentist, you know, insurance changes, okay, Uh, school changes, moving the kids during school, buying another house, like it it just feels kind of overwhelming. So I think focusing on one thing at a time and right now focusing on garage, getting that done. And then next weekend, we'll focus on our trip and having fun and, you know, meeting everyone and all of that. And then when we get back, you know, it's probably going to be showing the house and, it's just, it's a lot. Right now, I'm at Walmart because we are out of milk again. I probably should just go ahead and buy two gallons this time because we go through so much milk. It's insane. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna get some milk. And then tomorrow, we're going to a birthday party. One of Mark's little friends is having a birthday party and they invited us and I'm so excited to go. Um, and so I'm gonna get him a little present at Walmart. Um, I don't know what, I'm gonna look around and see yeah, he's exact same age as Mark. He was born one day after Mark. So they are like right at the same age. So I think anything Mark is into, he's going to like too. So I'm going to look around and see what they have. And um, I'll show you guys what I end up with. But things are getting exciting. Things are getting very exciting. I'm glad that we got those pictures done because now we don't have to worry about that. Now that's all she needed to actually be able to list the house. So she's ready. Like whenever we say go, she's ready to list it. She thinks it'll sell quickly. She thinks, um, she thinks that she thinks that the house looks great, all of that. So that's wonderful. Um, I will check in with you guys when I get back home, and we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. Hey guys, I do not need any of this stuff, but they have put out a bunch of new Christmas stuff. All of it is fifty cents, and my Christmas bucket is out right now, so I feel like I could get a couple things and stick it in there. They have these gift card holders 10 cents for three of them like how do I not get some of those and stick them in my Christmas bin they have holiday paper 50 cents these little tins which I don't think I need those those are 10 cents all of these 50 cents oh I don't need any of this stuff but that is so tempting all of these holiday candles 50 cents what do I do you guys look over here all of these 50 cents 50 cents 50 cents like gift gift wrap oh that's a wine bag more gift wrap over here look at these you guys 10 cents for holiday cards like how how do i not buy this i mean i don't think i need the cards but 10 cents i feel like i should get them you can't even buy envelopes for 10 cents i don't know this is so hard if we weren't moving this would be easy but I did get a couple things to stick in my holiday bin. I just can't help it. That's so, they're so cute. Like, look at these picture frames. Like, I could do this for a gift. 50 cents. How do I not buy this? Like, Santa pictures. 50 cents. Oh, this is so, this is so hard. This is so hard. I don't want to move this stuff, but 50 cents. Um, I don't know what to do. I did get one of these. It's like a little sled. 50 cents. Holy cow. Okay, so I have those. I thought this was cute. Like a little book stack. This. 
this. Associates here with us. Perfect. And then the gift card holders, 10 cents. Oh gosh. Right, you guys, I'm back from the store. I'm gonna show you everything I got. Um, like I said, if we weren't moving, I would have gotten more of this stuff. But I could not, even though we're moving, I couldn't resist these things. Um, we have a couple of totes for Christmas that aren't all the way full, so it's not really gonna take up that much more room. And the prices were just insane. So these gift card tins, which we give gift cards to teachers and, you know, all kinds of different people, three of them for 10 cents for all three. I probably should have got more of these, honestly, but I got four of this design and two of this design. They had tons of them. And then I got this for 50 cents, this picture frame for 50 cents, and then these two picture frames. I thought we always take Christmas pajama pictures in the last two years turned out really really cute so i thought i could put 2021 and 2022 and display them for next year and then i'll get another picture frame you know every year and kind of display them around the house and then i like this said holly jolly christmas our last name is holly not spelled the same but a little book stack this was also 50 cents and then this 15 piece sheets holiday gift wrap sheets again this is just insane 50 cents this design also 50 cents so that's all i got we have room for it but you might want to check walmart i've checked there all the time and they just put this out so i'm not sure if they found like a bunch of stuff in the back and they didn't know they had it or what but it's all out and there's a ton of it i got nate some mac and cheese for Mark's friends for his birthday, I got him these, I thought these were cool, these monster trucks. And you can take the top off of these and like switch out the different cars, which I thought was cool. And then I also got him some pajamas. I feel like every kid needs and loves pajamas. These are Buzz Lightyear. I got two gallons of milk. And then all the Pioneer Woman clothes were on sale. And I thought this was so pretty. I'm really trying not to buy any clothes, but this was $11 and I have a really hard time. You can see, I have a really hard time finding like tunics like this. I love wearing this kind of stuff with leggings. So I'm going to try this on. And if it doesn't, if I don't like it, I'll just take it back. But it was $11. They had all of her shirts and even their, her pants and stuff were all marked down. Some were $4, some were $9, and some were 11 I just thought this one was really pretty. And it's very springy. It's not like it's wintery or anything. So I don't know why they're on sale. But anyway, that's everything I got. All right, you guys. It is now the end of the night. I look crazy. I'm going to get a shower here soon. Um, it's been a really good day. Crazy busy day. Once I got home from the store, I cleaned out some of the kids old clothes I went through everybody's closet and there was like a bunch of stuff that they had outgrown so I put all that in a bag I have a huge black trash bag full of clothes to donate um and I ran out of black trash bags so I'm gonna have to go back to the store soon and get trash bags and all that but I'm gonna get a shower tonight and try to put myself together the last few days has just been like rushing around getting stuff done but it's been productive at least. Uh, for dinner tonight, I made pancakes um, for the kids. And then me and David, I made like McGriddle sandwiches. So I took pan homemade pancakes, that I, like the ones I made for the kids. And then I cooked some maple sausage and some scrambled eggs. We put some cheese on there and made like little McGriddle sandwiches. And it was different. I'm really going to have to start really trying to work down on all of our food. Um, when we move, I'm sure I'll still have like some of my staples and I'll just hopefully get to bring those with us. But, you know, as little of that as we can, we need to just use up stuff. So I'm trying to get creative <laughs> using up things. So dinner should be interesting in the next month or two however long it takes. So I love you guys so much. It is now like almost nine o'clock. We're just now getting the kids to bed. So I love y'all stay tuned tomorrow. We'll bring you guys with us for everything that we do. Of course, thank you guys for all of your love and support. If you like the vlog, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you 
why don't we 